Hello everyone, I'm Artur and today in this video I would like to show you how you can create mobile application using Apache Cordova. First of all you need to get Node.js into your system and once you have it you need to use npm and install Cordova. Once you have Cordova in your system it's very important to install some platform specific additional tools. For Android you need um, for sure Android Studio, you need to install Gradle, you need to install Android SDK. So please follow the link uh, below this uh, movie and go to the Cordova documentation so you can obtain all necessary dependencies to your system. When you installed all dependencies you can just create new project in the Cordova by using Cordova create and name of your application command. Once you finish this command you will see that you have uh, your project initialized with some basic file structure inside. Now we need to tell Cordova which platforms we want to use in the project. For this specific uh, video I will add iOS and Android platforms because I would like to show you how you can run the simulator on those platforms. So we added iOS, we need to wait a moment and once iOS is added let's add Android. Let's wait a couple seconds. Okay. So we have the directory www with some files inside. We have here CSS, uh, some images and JavaScript. So right now I would like to place here my uh, Hello World application. I took it from the Create React App generator and we have some HTML with the images and CSS inside the build directory here. And now I will copy all the files from my build and I will move them to the Cordova directory to the previous one uh, that I mentioned the WW uh, directory and here we can paste our files so the mobile app for iOS and Android will be generated out of this directory. This directory we are free to use any uh, web technology. So we can use jQuery, we can use Angular, we can use React or just place here some static content that we want to display inside the app. Okay, I copied all files to our directory so now I will try to run uh, iOS simulator. It's, it's very important to try run Xcode before running this command because sometimes when Xcode is not properly configured this uh, command may not work for you. And let's wait a moment and okay we see iPhone 10 simulator. Let's wait a moment to wait okay and yeah we can see inside the simulator my website. Let's do the same for Android. I will run a bit different command, a Cordova build Android. I don't know why, but Cordova run Android didn't work for me. So I will build the project here and separately I will run the Android Studio. And from Android Studio, let's open the directory that was generated by Apache Cordova. Okay, we have Android Studio. I will close my project because the Android Studio remembered previously used project and I will open a new one. Yeah, let's close it. And we can start new project out of existing. And here we need to find the directory which was generated by Apache Cordova in the previous steps. Okay, we have Android. Let's open it. And now we need to wait for Android Studio to build our project. You can run this application on a virtual device. If you don't have any, you can click here and install some new device. 
I already have one which is a Nexus so we'll try to deploy to the Nexus but you can also add here other devices or even use some devices that is connected to the to your computer by USB cable and one reminder please try to use only original USB cables because for example I used some random cable and it wasn't working on my device okay right now we need a moment for our device to boot sometimes it's taking too much time yeah finally my app is up and running and you can see that website is successfully deployed to the android studio simulator thanks for watching